there. <laughs> All right. Okay, so I'm go I volunteered to be a facilitator tonight. And we can start with our icebreaker. Um, did anyone prepare an icebreaker for tonight? I have. <laughs> okay. Okay. So will I? By the way, do should should we have someone take the hands? Um uh, yeah, like I was we should do that after the icebreaker, but like um we can do yeah, it now. After the icebreaker. Let's go. Okay, so if he, who um Maybe someone that has not been a minute taker can be our minute taker uh, tonight. So yeah. I can do it if um, no one else no. wants to. I can All right. Yeah, maybe Adam. <laughs> Adam has I don't know. I don't have pencil on. Take the important notes. Take the important notes. Okay. Take the important notes. Okay. Annie's going to do it. Annie. Okay. Annie's going to be your minute taker, and Ola is going to lead the icebreaker. Okay. Jennifer, do you have do you have a particular technique you do when you take the minutes? You were very mm -hmm. good at it. Like, uh, oh, thanks. Do you do you do anything special to? Uh, do you want to do time or what? To uh, no, I'm okay. Oh yes, please. Uh, do you do anything special to uh, you know make sure that you capture the right things? Uh, just try to follow along and uh, write down what strikes me as the especially if there's any action, any vote or action. Yeah. Right. Make sure to write that down. Got it. I don't know. Cool. Sweet. Okay. Um, sure. That we get started, babe. You want to? Um, okay. I'm pinging uh, Brad and Russell's here. Okay. So I was thinking since we are going to be a store, we will be selling some food. And uh, everybody loves to eat, so we'll always eat. Um, the, for the question for the icebreaker today is if you could, uh, if, um, if someone can, uh, yes, Jennifer, maybe you're, uh, you think your your computer like picks up a little background noise? Maybe you just um, mute if you can, if you don't mind. Thanks. Cool. If you could cook a dish for the teammates. Uh, what would that be? Okay. Uh, I can, I can, you want to start? Why don't you start? Oh, me? Yeah, you're the oh, one. Sure. Presenting. <laughs> oh, yeah, I think I would make a zucchini chocolate cake. <laughs> zucchini chocolate cake. <laughs> well, because, uh, I just recently made it and it was, yeah, it's super healthy, uh, includes vegetable, it you really cannot taste it. Uh, everybody, almost everyone likes chocolate, and the cake is uh, is very light. Uh, and I think yeah, I think it would uh, accommodate almost everyone. Almost, I I, I would hope for, and uh, it would be healthy and sweet, you know. Uh, next. It was pretty good. It was pretty good. I tried it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. <laughs> um, Adam. Okay, um, so I assume the follow up on this uh, action item is that we're going to send uh, a zucchini cake to everyone. Is that it? At least the recipe. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, okay. if someone is interested, I'm willing to. <laughs> uh, I'll say uh, uh, like a vegetarian paella. I, I did that recently and was pretty uh, stoked on it. Well, that sounds really oh, good. Uh, I just, uh, Jennifer, what did, how about you? Um, let's see. I, I would also do a vegetarian dish, maybe lasagna. Okay. I haven't made any of the dishes, neither paella yet, nor um, lasagna. lasagna. No, not yet. <laughs> Okay, so hi Russell, welcome. We're doing our icebreaker, and the question is: if you could, or if you could cook a meal for the team, what would it be? Uh, maybe, I uh, maybe uh, Vivek, you want to go next? Sure. Uh, I think I, I, my original answer was pizza, but uh, <laughs> I think I think someone else probably could do that. Well, I, what I would try to do is maybe like some kind of. Um, Indian dish, South Indian dish that's uh, less common, uh, especially amongst this group. 
I would I think maybe maybe someone here is a South Indian specialty cook so I don't want to <laughs> assume but I'm assuming the restaurants uh, probably do uh, uh, yeah like um, open mouth is something I make at home pretty frequently so that would maybe well, something I would do for the group. Russell, what about you, man? What about you, man? Hello? Can you hear us, Russell? Or are you there? Maybe not yet. Maybe she's coming. Can make make camera okay. off. Everyone put their camera we want to we're gonna propose the camera on. Uh, I mean, yeah, I mean if folks uh if you are, if you, if it's possible, it would be nice to see everyone. Maybe Russell is sitting up. I don't know what's going on. Yeah. Okay, well let's skip Russell well, for now. Yeah, yeah, Erica. <laughs> Erica. Um, I will make chilaquiles, which is my favorite breakfast. Um, it's there are many ways to do it, but it's basically tortilla chips with salsa. And you can add egg or um, chicken. I prefer with egg and beans on the side. And yeah, that's usually what I make when I visit someone or like, yeah, when I have to make breakfast. I really like it. And Annie, what would you make? Yeah, I would make a carrot top pesto that I just oh, yeah. <laughs> discover now. And I think it really fits with the sustainability <laughs> uh, because we don't really use the carrot tops. And yet the other day I remember somebody mentioned to me, oh, you can make a pesto. So I tried and we've been eating in the last few days, something that we can teach a workshop at the store too. <sighs> and it came out so good. Seriously you guys, if you ever have the carrot chops, don't throw them away, make pesto. Yeah. Okay, um, thank you. Um, so Russell mentioned he's having some um, okay trouble with his audio. So maybe when when he's ready, he can share his yeah. his dish with us. Okay, so uh, let's review our agenda for tonight. One second. So uh, number one, icebreaker, we did it. Thank you, Ula. Um, number two, Vivek will share the high level review of steps to create a co-op. And then we'll have time, ample time for questions and answers regarding his presentation. And then Ula and I are gonna talk about membership, which was like our action item last week. And then Annie and Ula will um, share with us the mirror board that they created and guide us through it. And we're gonna discuss how it's like, um, how does that go? And finally, we'll have some time to say how the meeting went. So before we continue, would anybody like to add an item to the agenda for tonight? I think I had something, but I, <laughs> no, it's escaping me. Uh, maybe, maybe if it's okay, uh, I can bring it up a little bit later. I, it'll probably come back to me. I'm sorry, guys. I should have made a note of it. Yeah, you can. You can. Uh, you can add it when you remember. Ula. I was thinking we can add at the end that we designate the facilitator and icebreaker person uh, like already at the end of the meeting for the next time. Okay. Okay, so I'll add it here. Okay, I'll see. Mm -hmm. cool. yeah, Remind me if I forget. Uh -huh. Assignate roles for next week. Okay, cool. All right, so we can start with the second item, Vivek. I pass it to you. Cool, okay. Give me a second, guys. Oh, I'm to give Ula access to. Um, you can do it for me. You have to make you the host. Cool. Okay, guys. Um, cool. So, um, 
<clears throat> so yeah, uh, this was something I wanted to go over uh, two weeks ago. Uh, before actually, before I do, I just want to quickly say, um, one second, I think it, there's some feedback. Um, yeah, so I, I just wanted to say, um, uh, I, I got a chance to watch the video from uh, two weeks ago, with, uh, or last week, sorry, uh, with everybody. And um, it, was, it was really encouraging. Uh, I, I felt really uh, thankful for all of you and your commitment to the project. And, um, it, you know, it just, uh, it made me feel that it, we're even more confident in this uh, team and our ability to, to create this vision and actually have a real impact um, on this particular problem. So, um, you know, while sometimes these things in the process can feel like we're not making as quick progress as we'd like, I think on the, <clears throat> like just seeing every, all of you coming together and assemble and, um, and working together um, better and better um, just was, was just really encouraging. And so uh, I appreciate everyone's um, continue commitment to this project and, uh, and input and, and suggestions. And um, yeah, I know this uh, may be tricky and, um, and risky for some folks um, in some ways, but I think the process as we all outline in the next couple of steps will provide clarity on how we get to from where we are today to a point where we have um, a, a product that we are excited about and hopefully customers are excited about. And, um, and you know, if um, there are concerns along the way, obviously we um, will be able to talk about them and address them as a team. So, uh, yeah, once again, just thank you. Thanks again to everybody for their help last week. Okay, so uh, getting into it, um, let me just go this in presentation mode. Cool. Everyone see the screen okay? Okay, so I was, you know, I wanted to provide more clarity. There was questions about the steps of going from where we are today to launching a product. Um, and so I did a bunch of research. Uh, I um, stumbled on some material on a PDF a while ago, um, shared from that website that Erica found the rules for consensus, um, uh, institute.coop, which is a really just great resource for all this type of material and questions. And, um, and so um, they, they provided a, a document that provide, uh, clarifies the steps from A to Z. And um, high level, this is, this is sort of the, the, the steps. Uh, by the way, Russell, can you hear us yet? Or are you still unable to? Uh, yep, I got, I got everything working again. Thanks Perfect. for asking. Yeah, cool, cool, awesome. Um, so, you know, feel free this also, this presentation is it's gonna be a, a, call, a sort of uh, opportunity for people to ask questions. So just if you feel like you have a concern or a question, just bring it up. So high level, um, the summary of the steps, uh, you, I'll, I'll just read them sort of out loud. The first step is collect information, clarify needs and assemble an organizing group. This, this step basically is done. I'm gonna go into each of these in more detail in the, in the next couple slides, the next eight slides really. But that step has almost kind of been done. Uh, potential members need to discuss needs and vision coordinate and organizing business research. Um, then after that, conduct a feasibility study, present findings, attain a commitment to proceed. Fourth, prepare and review the business plan. Um, five, draft legal papers and secure membership and financial commitments. Six, hold the co-op's first char charter meeting, define and accept roles. Seven, implement management, prepare the business startup. And number eight, start operations, um, implement business plan. So as you can see, this kind of is like a, takes us from where we are today to sort of launching a product um, on a high level. So I'm gonna go through this um, real quick once. So again, let me pull something up on my computer. Cool. <sighs> So the first step, um, collect information, clarify needs and assemble organizing group. Um, so a lot of this uh, has already been done. I did, I, I did a lot of this on my own and, and then brought this, you know, put, put out that event with the help of um, the various folks on this call. And, um, and so that got us all together. And, and, but where we are, the, the missing step right here 
is like sharing our objectives, understanding uh, individual objectives and, um, and for creating this cooperative. Not like our personal objectives, but like what we would like to see this cooperative do beyond just um, the mission that we define for this organization. So these are sort of like secondary goals I would sort of um, uh, think of them as. Um, but yeah, so that's, that's the first step. Um, so the next step um, is, sorry, uh, potential members meet to discuss needs, vision and coordinate organizing and business research. So this step primarily is about enough, you know, seeing if there's enough uh, interest to justify um, additional planning and research, which it seems like we kind of established that um, and establish a core decision-making group and selecting a steering committee. That's what this really, this step is all about. And for me, the way I see it is, um, and I think Erica is going to talk a little bit to this, the group, here, this group here, um, including Brad, um, like seems like the steering committee. It, we're not, um, we're not uh, like full of members because we're, we're not a cooperative and we're not a legal organization yet, but we'll probably end up becoming this steering committee for this org. Um, and that's what this, this step's pretty much about. And we're pretty close to that. Um, we, we, we need to do some stuff like inventory of skills. Uh, Adam's talked about that in the email discussion and we'll get to that, I think, in, in the next meeting or, or, or maybe through some other means, whether it's a Google form of some sort or something like that. Next up, is um, so conduct a feasibility study, present findings, and obtain commitment to proceed. So this is going to be the probably one of the biggest steps we're going to do to in our journey. This is where we're going to research um, if the proposed idea is feasible or not. Um, it's not a business plan, but it's general research, um, but not in a formal document. It's it's we will probably end up breaking up into committees. To tackle the feasibility study, and uh, on a, some degree of cadence, we will come back as a as a general group and present our findings. Either whether it's in a uh, presentation of sorts, uh, maybe some sort of doc, uh, written document, whatever it is that we decide is a method to uh, provide feedback to the rest of the team, and then at that point decide um, if we continue to move forward with the project. Um, and uh, yeah, so that's 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 that. Next is um, based on that feasibility study. Assuming uh, that the feasibility study goes well, then we will create a um, a proper business plan, um, and we'll we'll uh, that business plan will uh, take all this analysis that we did in a feasibility study and put it in a more thoughtful document. Uh, or more thorough document so that we are able to present that to external parties. Um, so one of those external parties that will be important will probably be like a financier type. So imagine, um, you know, credit unions, banks, uh, foundations, uh, uh, and other like uh, individuals perhaps that want to uh, support this uh, organization uh, financially. Um, government orgs, things like that. Uh, and matter of fact, to speaking to that, I actually was on a, two calls today um, that were related to financing worker and cooperatives. And I, I will say I was very encouraged by both conversations. There seems to be a lot of different groups out there um, that are um, financing worker cooperatives. Uh, they, they themselves, the, the groups that are financing them are, are actually worker cooperatives even. Um, so it's encouraging to see that there's a lot of um, support there and, there were, and these organizations were not even working individually. Like there could be one, there was on one of the calls, there was like four or five different organizations that um, fund worker on cooperatives and they all kind of knew each other and they oftentimes work together. If, especially if uh, the amount of money um, that the worker cooperative is looking for is a large amount, which probably will be the case in ours. So anyway, so that was very encouraging, but um, but having proper documentation to show that our plan is viable is a key component of that. And that's where this step comes in. Sorry. Um, so then from there, we would draft the legal papers. 
um, and secure membership and financial commitment. So this step, um, yeah, it's kind of like what we it kind of sounds like, um, but the team is more formally created. We, we put together the bylaws. Um, we'll probably have to like look for some legal counsel at that point. Um, we get written financial, we get written and financial commitment from the team. This will be for us to decide probably in our feasibility study or some point along the way, we will figure out like how much is, you know, for each to become a real member, how much um, is that to do that? You know, for some organizations, it's, it can be a few dollars, like it'd be like a hundred bucks or a couple hundred bucks, some, you know, a thousand bucks or a couple thousand bucks on um, that's for us to decide and, you know, to discuss. <clears throat> Um, next, hold the co-ops first charter meeting, define and accept roles. So, um, yeah, once again, this is pretty, uh, as it sounds, it, like this is where we are officially, um, you know, are, you know, a, a cooperative. We, we, you know, we'll accept the articles of incorporations formally and the bylaws. These are, these are just more like legal documents that, that people, you know, external parties might look at, or you know, uh, when you apply to become a real or a corporation, the uh, government just wants to see things like that. Um, we will also sign a board. Um, this is for oftentimes. Well, this is for our own management, and also oftentimes for um, external parties that want to know who who's in charge. Uh, so some sort of board will uh, likely need to be created. Um, Especially at that point, we'll probably be a much bigger organization, so we'll need to have some sort of leadership. <clears throat> uh, next, uh, seven implement um, management and prepare for business startup. Um, so yeah, we'll while we'll have a board of directors, that board of directors maybe will likely be different than the management team. So the board of directors is basically represents this larger. Um, team right now there's you know six seven of us um but um and the board will represent those will uh well right now that's how many people are but in the future i would imagine we'll have 20 30 40 100 people who knows and so the, the board really represents the the workers all the worker owners and then from there we'll have to select a, a team of managers that manages certain divisions whether it's you know human resources or technology or marketing or whatever it is. And they will, that, that team will be uh, responsible to answer to the uh, board of directors. So that's where implement management comes into place. I mean, some of that, this stuff will come sort of naturally as we, as we develop, but these are sort of the high level steps. Uh, we'll acquire facilities and necessary license and agreements um, so that we can, uh, you know, start the business. Uh, and we'll secure our financing here and finalize, finalize agreements for all, um, all sources um, uh, that give us financing. So, and uh, lastly, yeah, we start the company. Uh, this is what we're all like, you know, we'll are excited hopefully for, and we'll be working towards starting the business, uh, launch it and, um, and uh, work on determining ways to make us a, an enduring business. So once we have the things going, we start seeing where the business is going and how it's working just initially, we start set, setting up some steps to make sure that we go beyond um, just uh, uh, you know, an organization that lasts one year, two years, but can be an enduring business and making sure, and, and sort of move out away from the mindset that we will probably have been coming from, which is like sort of doing a lot, a lot of research and preparing to, you know, a team that can be last a long time on the on the implementation side of things. So yeah, so that's high level the steps. I'm going to take a moment to pause and you know see if there's questions from the from the group. And there's a couple more things I'll I'll go after this, but I think this is a good time to pause. So any questions or concerns or feedback? Um, my my only question or cause for feedback would be the um how how uh concrete the like the last like seven and eight uh pages would be and how how much how flexible how flexible your vision is for the for like the business on like 
managers and things like that. Um, because I've, I've, I've read about other uh, worker co-ops and they're run a lot less, a lot less like a company and a lot more like um, groups of companies. So like the each division would kind of be like, you know, like if I wanted to spin off a, a division of, of the sustainable co-op, I would have, you know, I would have my own employees or whatever and I would pay them out sort of way. Um, that would be like one model um, and versus like having like a hierarchical model where um, there is like a CEO or president or a board that like top down, that top down power. But I think that the top down power is important because that's the part that we can kind of use as almost like franchising and like explaining how, how you go about building like a supermarket or how you go about building a distribution center. Um, like those would be our plans, but then like the actual people that are doing the work, like actually running, running the stores, I feel like they should be more of like the boss of that area kind of, but I don't know if that, that fits. And that's kind of later on in like the, it feels later in the process than, than where we are now to like, know if, if that's a deal breaker or not. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, totally. So, so I, I mean, I don't think I know the, the, the exact answer to that question. Um, it, I think what I've seen of like, you know, sort of a holding company for different worker cooperatives, I, I often see that as like much more, off, like more established organizations. Mm -hmm. They've been around for, you know, decades perhaps where there's like one central org and then there's a bunch of like a new uh, smaller uh worker on cooperatives that they pick up or buy or whatever yeah um that's mostly been my experience on that so I, but i think we can i think i think the goal for me right now at least and the way i envision it is is like focusing on just just getting this one thing up and going and i think we're going to learn a lot from that and it'll it'll you know it's going to take time to work through the kinks through that and then at that point we can figure out okay like how do we do a second one or a third one or fourth one or whatever you know yeah. is it do we franchise if we don't or like you know right. what does franchise even look like in that scenario mm -hmm. um so just getting the first one out i think is a tricky part okay yeah that makes sense yeah because i guess it, it, it comes down to like this last slide really comes down to how do we want to how do we want to be managed and how do we want to manage right and i want to I, like personally i would want the most i would want the most like autonomy the yeah right like this is the this is the part where we need to have a, pl a plan and then we need to have operations where like um well maybe it's the slide before this actually what was the slide before this oops yeah, like the management team, like this sort of stuff, acquiring the facility, like that makes sense that you would have, I don't know, you're going to need a manager, right? Someone's going to have to do the operation. Someone's going to have to know how to run a store and then teach and train and, and build a team. Um, but I don't know. Well, well, maybe what's your concern? Annie, you want to say something? Yeah, I was uh, going to say that does it have to be part of the co-op? Like the manager, or like while hiring the manager. Oh, hiring! Hiring is not. It, it, that's or sort like, of the language that this document used. I probably should just uh -huh. say select. 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 Select or choose or choose. delegate. Yeah. 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 Exactly. That's all right. I, I I should probably have clarified that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's 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 gonna be internal. You know, it's probably gonna be. I, I wouldn't see where like maybe in a scenario where we don't feel like anyone within the team is got the necessary skills, then we, we can do some research. The board will probably go out there and research uh, and try to find um, you know, someone who's the right fit for that role. Uh, I would feel like that, like that person should be part of the board <laughs> and they could help us guide, guide the company and guide the vision. Yeah, and that, that's also, that happens also in uh, normal orgs too. So yeah. again, once again, these are things we can decide down the road. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah. Okay. That's a good question. The good question, but to be clear, what is your exact concern? I just want to make sure we addressed it. Uh, yeah, my exact concern is I want like not just 
not just in the words like co-op like i want to make make it so that this this business like does the most good for the most amount of people and especially like like the workers and so this 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 page forces us to think about how do we manage how do we manage to do to make sure people at least do the vision that we're setting out right there's like certain things that they have to do otherwise we can't work with them or we can't partner with them so and then the rest is like how do we make sure that we're all getting paid fairly or or getting a you know getting the ability to be creative and do the most do get the job that's perfect for them if possible um you know and that's that could be managing a grocery because those, i have friends that manage groceries right so like but i think that that work is equally is valuable so i've that's and that and that's where it comes to like this part like the worker the worker that's actually stocking the shelves who's actually getting it getting the job done i i, I want them to have as as much value and as like almost as fair share as as any of us founders or whatever if possible somehow and if that's the case how do you structure it and is the do we do we even have a reference like at that level I don't know if we do, and so we're kind of exploring new territories. But um, from what I read, what, what um, co-op some co-ops do when they hire employees, there is like a trial time. Um, so so the members of the co-op see if this person is you can say a good match. Let's say six months you you work with this person, and you consider their effort and the, how they get along with everybody, and then people vote uh, on the person so th to decide that person is eligible to become a member. Mm -hmm. That's uh, one option that I read. I don't know if it's it, if this is like uh, what you were referring to. Well, I, I think mm -hmm. I think what Russell's referring to um, is like I, I, I think your your point is is like you're trying to figure out like how do we how do we take care of the team. Like, how do we take care of this team, making sure that the team founders and, and, and any other employees are all taken care of, and that's not compromised. And I think that there, yeah, there's lots of different mechanisms for doing this. Um, mm -hmm. We're not the, we're not the, yeah, I, one of the reasons I ended up choosing a worker on cooperative versus like other business models is worker on cooperative has been around for a long time. And there, and there's a lot of great examples. Um, you know, one, you know, the, the, the poster child for, for this oftentimes is like Mondragon. Uh, Mondragon in um, in Spain is the, you know the third largest uh, corporate corporation um, in Spain and it's one of the largest in all of Europe. Uh, they do a lot of trainings. You can even literally even you can go visit them in Spain, and um, they will give you a tour and like talk about how they um, implement their business and all this type of stuff. So um, and we, and we and there's lots of other organizations out across the US uh, that are worker and cooperatives and they face these challenges of making sure people are paid fairly. Um, and actually, quite frankly, oftentimes they get paid, we get paid more because a lot of money's not getting pulled out and going to investors that had nothing to do with the business. Right. Um, it, 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 it gets to stay within the organization. Um, so I think, uh, but these are real questions and we'll, uh, the, the, there's going to be a, a group when we split into committees um there's going to be a group that is going to look at it like sort of internal mechanics of the of worker cooperative like how do we um you know like you know scheduling meetings and how do we do further education for people and how do we um uh, uh you know how do we uh, make sure that people are happy and understand if their happiness level like and and that group probably will do what you're talking about they're going to go i would envision them going or talking to lots of other cooperatives out there talking to the like that woman tammy who we had in that first call i talked to on a weekly basis this woman shelly who was also on that first call from ica group and and asking those people those questions like how do we do this like can you give me some examples of this like blah 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 blah, blah. Mm -hmm. and and then we'll uh and they'll answer those questions and they'll give us input and then whoever does that research will present it to a larger group that makes sense yep yep thank you yeah and once again this is also part of the reason i 
I chose a worker and cooperative versus like a traditional startup. You know, I was just like listening the other day, you know, the poster child of, uh, of capitalism, Amazon, right? Like it was like some uh, lawsuit against them where they were literally stealing tips from delivery to people. Like one of the largest companies in the world still yeah. stealing tips from their delivery people. Like I knew no matter what, I knew no matter what, if I started a traditional corporation, there would always be this opportunity um, for us to be compromised, uh, our values, especially to teammates. Uh, yeah. But as a worker-owned cooperative, that, that can almost never happen. Right. It's kind of like baked into who we are as an organization. Yeah, and I think that this, even this conversation is a testament to that because it's usually not, not even like, get out of this meeting, Russ. You're causing trouble, <laughs> right? Like that's what it would be. That would be the reality. I mean, I kind of wanted to say that, but that's okay. yeah, no, it's tr it's true. So I value it. <laughs> tuzik, 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 tuzik. I'm I'm with you, and I jive with I jive with it. That's why I'm 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 happy. So thanks. Yeah, of course. Yep. Uh, well, any other questions? Um... No, I would just like to add that that can be one of our objectives: that people are treated equally, paid fairly, and all these important things that seem to matter to all of us. Yeah, matter of fact, we're about to get to that. So that's awesome. You're giving me a little uh, head start. Awesome, appreciate it. Jennifer, what about you or Adam or Ula or Ani? Ani, you're taking away furiously notes, I know. So I hope you're be able to pay attention a bit. I uh, appreciate you taking notes, but um, uh, any of you guys want to chime in or questions um, that I can try to address? I'm just trying to keep an open mind right now about uh, I, I like the idea of starting with our our values, identifying our values and working working from working outwards from there so that uh, we answer the questions using our values that we've agreed on. You want it, you want to. No, I wanted to see. Otherwise, like see what? The, the previous steps, because that's what's going to be next. Oh, know? the next step. Yeah, I'll. I'll, I'll Not the next, the previous. Previous yeah. ones. The previous ones, because that's going to be one of our next steps. You know. Uh, actually, it doesn't say it here, and I'm gonna explain. I'm gonna explain that point about values. Uh, pretty soon. So, um, and assuming if Ani, Adam, or Ula don't have questions, or Erica, I'll, I'll move on with the presentation. Awesome. So, so this is where we, this is the high level step. So I, I think the, the next logical question is like, like pragmatically, how do we go from here? Um, and so I, I, I kind of outlined it on um, this, this is like a, a place for discussion, like real discussion. So I'd like you guys to think about this and look at this very carefully. This is me taking some of my business um, background and experience, looking at uh, what other cooperatives have done, looking at the steps, I high level steps that I shared with you and um, and and then like listening to some of the conversations that we've had over the last couple of weeks and trying to put them into a thoughtful mechanism so that we can be streamline this process. Now, this is not uh, firm and stone. This is like open for discussion. And I'd like us to think about this and make sure that I didn't miss anything. I, I was really trying to be thoughtful but obviously um, there's always opportunities for any, any of us to make mistakes. So, so I'd like just to, to talk about. It. So first step, agree on this vision. We, we're kind of moving forward with this vision. The next thing is to talk about our determine our shared objectives. So this comes to the point that Russell's talking about. Uh, one of the things that Russell was talking about um, could be like a shared objective could be um, like, you know, making sure employee happiness, uh, we're like uh, uh, talking about what is the ideal income, um, talking about how big of an organization we want to become, and um, we could be spreading cooperative principles. So just like thinking to ourselves, like what are some of these personal object, like some of the objectives you would like to, us as an organization beyond sort of the mission a mission is like what we're going to be really super hyper focused on, but some additional sort of objectives you would like us to to uh, accomplish as an organization. It may not be our like our number one priority, but we would like to see them occur kind of almost alongside the mission. So then, upon once we understand those objectives, we 
we honed in onto the objectives that we, we could share as a team. We agree on a mission. And, this is, and the mission is a little bit different than the vision. It's, it's, very, it's more like a precise wording. Um, and that will allow us to like come back to it regularly and say, hey, this is what we're working on. Like, this is the priority. Like, so other things are sort of um, ancillary um, and help us make decisions and be able to say no to things and say yes to other things. And, and those, that mission I, I, I see is, should be within the bounds of our shared objective. Our shared objectives are almost like the rules, how we play, and, and then uh, are we agree on that. We use the, that, that shared objectives to agree on the mission. Next is the, the business model okay. canvas. Sorry, um, Rick. Um, sorry to interrupt. Would it be fair to say that our vision could change or be adapted, but our mission should remain like the, the same yeah. or, yes? No, I would, I would probably, probably say that, yeah. Okay. Yep. Um, next is the business model canvas. So the, um, this is something a step that Tammy talked about at Brad. Uh, I think Russell even shared a version of it. Um, and so this is like a high level, gives us an idea of like how we're gonna tackle this problem. And, um, and like, you know, stakeholders and partnerships and um, go to market and some like high level, uh, high level steps of like that we agree upon and makes kind of we'll need to do further research on, but kind of gives us some direction, the type of customers we want to go after, things like that. Along with this, I, I just for the sake of keeping it simple on this deck, I foresee this is where we will, as a group, uh, also talk about um, values. Values as, as an Oregon, we'll share this, and I'll, I'm going to get into the values component a little bit later in more detail, but we'll, we'll probably initially kick off some discussion on what are some of the values that all of us or individually, we, we, it's important to us. Uh, next, we'll review uh, the committees that we'll uh, want to break into and determine the committee's objectives. Um, so yeah, it's not enough just to break up into committees, but also to think about uh, what are the committee's objectives, what, like what are their targets and going after. Um, after that, six is design a system for the committees to accomplish those goals. So think as a team, trying to think about once we break up into committees, um, like how can we make sure that those committees are successful? You know, it, it's not just about amount of work, but like how can we make the make it a system so that they can be successful, be efficient, uh, and then also even come back to the larger group and making sure that the larger group um, on occasion can uh, be notified. It doesn't have to be weekly, maybe it's on a monthly or every other month basis, be notified on what some of these committees are doing um, so that there's, there's buy-in from the, the larger group. And then after that, break into committees. And then when we break into committees, we'll be, we'll, we'll, we'll like start um, trying to break down and solving the questions of the feasibility study. And that feasibility study will lead, lead to a business plan and so forth. So that's sort of the step. And then, um, yeah, so that's the, uh, the steps as I see them sort of going from this point on forward. Um, uh, and and as I, I sort of like said, I was gonna talk a little bit about, but, um, the value step, like being really clear about the value step. Uh, I've heard this a few times. So I think this will be brought up uh, and discussed um, in the, during the business model canvas uh, component. And um, I think that'll be a good time to, to talk about it. But I, I foresee the, the marketing committee, the external committee will probably fine tune it. Um, because every, every one of us can list like a dozen values that are important to us. Uh, so the number could get absurd, but I think a, the marketing team with some uh, direction from the business model canvas can apply uh, the values or, or hone the values that um, uh, will make sense that we, for us internally, hopefully, and then also externally that will allow customers to understand what we represent. And those values, the marketing team will sort of hone and do some research on and then present it to the larger group for, for the, this larger group, the steering committee for buy-in. Um, so that's a, a, a step. Also, I would imagine in, in the next couple of weeks, um, I, uh, Adam uh, brought this up in email. And I think he also brought this up in the last call. 
is he brought up the, the step of like understanding the, the different skills that each of us bring. And I think um, understanding those skills is really important. Probably should happen, you know, in the next meeting or the week meeting after where we're really clear about the skills we do or, we, or the skills we had and the skills we'd like to learn. And that will be helpful in identifying um, individuals that we want to go back to into the like the larger email pool of like 90 people, maybe even beyond and try to target those other individuals to perhaps come on board sooner to uh, help fill in any roles or uh, missing um, perspectives that this group is lacking. Um, so those are sort of the, this is, but this is kind of right, right here I, I see is like the, the big major steps and the other stuff is sort of will slot in, smaller things will slot in. And I'm sure each of us will have agenda items or things that they want to bring up and discuss in between. And we will we'll save time every meeting for that. But this is sort of the steps as, uh, as I see it. Uh, I'm going to stop now and give time for folks to ask questions or bring up concerns. Jennifer, does this address your concern about vision of value? Sorry. Well, I'm trying to it's I'm trying to follow along with your slides. And it seems like like each slide has like five or eight things with it. So like each step is many steps. So I'm so how do we proceed next? I'm not sure. I, where are we at? Is that where we're at? Yeah. So you're you're breaking up a little bit, um, Jennifer. But I think your question was, where are we right now? And yeah, it's determine our shared objectives. I mean, determine our shared objectives and bring on a mission. Uh, where we are, are we working towards really, really quickly? Um, Vivek, maybe it'd be helpful to like uh, talk about the schedule of these um, six points and um, what we could do and maybe in just this coming week. Yeah, so I, to be honest with that's a great question, Adam. Uh, I was spending a little time trying to think about it. Um, and I, I, I like this next week, I, I don't know if there's a better way of doing it. Um, I, I like a shared objectives feels like something and um, we can perhaps do like online, I can, you know, maybe create a, like a Google form and we can, you know, fill it in and we can maybe one of us can sort of summarize some of the objectives and like talk about it in the next call say, hey, this is what people put in. Um, uh, and even in the mission, perhaps also we can have the group work towards doing those things. Um, or we can even do it in the call next week. Part of me was thinking we just do this over the call. We talk about each shared objective, why people, why it's important to people, uh, and try to see. You know, people can say like, "Oh, like this was important to Russell." Yeah, like, that makes sense, and we can discuss it in real time versus like people putting it down on a Google Doc and then like summarizing it. Um, the the other things that maybe in the meantime, I would you know, th some of these things just take time for us to get together and. And work through but it, like once we get to the breaking into committees component we'll we'll have a lot of work to do uh but just in, it, like inherently just some of these like key things we need as a group to sort of like decide on um and so there isn't like a ton of there, there is some additional work after this call that i could use some help on and I, I can talk about some of those things like even reaching out to the the larger 90 person pool uh, you know russell said it well like keeping that list warm I've been wanting to reach out to them and I haven't got a chance to send them an email. It's like just kind of like letting them know that we've been making progress and having calls and meetings. Um, uh, you know, you know, people rotating these roles, like whether it's keeping minutes and sending out those minutes, sending out emails. These are some of the tasks we need to get done. They made it they seem small, but these are, we're owners of the business. Dear, we will be owners of this business. So these are things that we all could be doing and, and could be helping. But if anyone, but Adam, also, if you think you have an idea on like how we could break up some of this stuff, like I'm all ears. Like this is, I sort of put this out here and I, the way I saw it is sort of chronologically working through them in the next couple of meetings. But if there's a more efficient way, any of us, I'm happy to, happy to like think through them. Hmm. Honey, 
Ula, any feedback? Uh, Erica, maybe? Yeah, I think it would be nice. I mean, it would be good to give a time frame for, for each of this. So then, you know, it's uh, get us going and get us like encouraged to, to get it done faster. You know, of course, if we go a little beyond, it's okay, but I think it would be good to give it a time frame, reasonable, reasonable. So, yeah. Yeah, I agree with that. It's nice to have a timeline. Time mm -hmm. um, maybe uh, I see these as our timeline. However, like some items might take more discussion than others, obviously. And it would be hard to say, like in meeting number six, we're going to be bu bu building the business model campus. Because maybe agreeing on a mission to do meeting but this should be our timeline and at least we can like follow possibly uh, on our next meeting, if the action is permitted, we can determine our share objectives or start working on that. Or uh, an action item can be to start thinking of our personal objectives so we can put them together as share objectives. But um, I'm not sure if, if, you, if, you refer, if you mean about like, adding specific dates might be a little tricky if that's why you were asking. So, uh, 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 yeah, sorry, Adam. Oh, um, I thought I, I certainly wasn't, um, I was more interested in uh, this coming week and what oh. um, we as a group could work on. Um, less so like saying, oh, a break into committee is on March 13th or something. Um, and so, um, um, before you continue, so like, as far as, as far as like the, the business uh, model canvas, we could, we could start building that like together, like, and it could almost be like a living thing that we, we work on um, potentially. So like a lot of these could be evolving and I'll, I'll go back to, I'll let you go back to you, Adam. Oh, no, that's that's actually kind of my point. It's like we have, it's you're you're evolving the the structure of the co-op on one side, then you're um, working out the practicalities of the business on the other side, and um, so like you're saying, like you kind of want all of them to evolve together. Uh, yeah. So I guess my only pushback on that, um, I, I I I can see that there you guys are being valued. I think it's just a little, it feels a little tricky for me to feel like um, we could do the business model canvas like super well when we are not 100% precise on um, or like what is our agreed upon mission and some of the shared objectives. Uh, it, it's just kind of like, like it's almost a baseline. Like we, we build upon that. That said, maybe you guys take a crack at it or one or two of you take a crack at it or three of you, whatever the number is, we take a crack at the business model canvas. And if it requires some adjustments after the mission has been more defined and the shared objectives have been more defined, then also that's also fine. It's up to you. Um, uh, but I think there's some wisdom in or value in trying to hone down and nail these things down, understand why these things are important um, and, and being really clear on um, what they are. So all of us have something to sort of hang our hat on and then we can go on to build, build the business on canvas. But it's up to you. And up to you guys if you want to take if you want to start working on that you can um i was just calling it out as one of the things on the list i think there are others that might be on like we could do on parallel as well like i think what we're trying to say is like at the end of each meeting it would be nice if we had actionable things to do like for example when we left the last meeting like one of the things was let's let's actually get slack running so that we can communicate and see if that's useful and so we ran with that. Um, those sorts of things, like anything on this list that we could poke at, even if it's very small or minor, any anybody on the team could potentially do. Um, I think well, that's- there, there, is, there is things, just, this is like, but this is just like the higher level, like I mentioned, like there's an email that needs to go out to the, mm -hmm. the broader group. I really could use some hand, like a hand with that. I, I wouldn't, you know, like I'm gonna do it myself. Uh, maybe even thinking about creating yeah, like that's something 
they definitely need to get done. Um, and um, like figuring out a mechanism, we can talk about that in this call or um, or at the end of this call, we like figuring out how we we're going to get these shared objectives, like literally how would we do that, like the process um, of doing that, that could be, that's definitely a task that needs to be done. I haven't figured that out, whether I was going to do it in the next meeting or um, try to organize it through a Google Doc. That's, these are both like real, real problems. Like the agree on a, agree on a mission. Like that's also, how do we, how do we do that? Like, do we like all sit around and talk about it? I, I think it's probably more wise if like one or two people took a crack at like owning a really thoughtful mission and then presented it to the group and like have a, like a talk about it. Is it missing certain things? Is it, we add this thing to it. These are real concrete things. Yep. Yeah, yep, I, you're right. I wonder, like, if, for example, because we really want to, uh, you know, move forward. So just give it this as really, uh, like, a homework that actively people, like, we would uh, determine our shared objectives. And uh, just, you know, everybody would write it in whatever, whatever we agree for. And when we meet already next time, we have everything summarized and we don't go, you know, it wouldn't take us longer than half an hour uh, without a discussion because the sort of discussion would be already like online. Well, I think to that right? point, I think to that point, if someone wants to volunteer, like, I would love, I would love, uh, this is, yeah, I think I get your point. I, I sort of get where people are at and I can tell from the last meeting too, is there people are sort of like, if you can work on. So like, why don't we do this right now? Just saying like, does someone want to take on determining, like determining how we actually capture people's shared objectives and kind of create like a sort of a, like a way for us to talk about them. And because obviously shared objectives, we have to be thoughtful. It's almost like values. Like you, we could, you can be an endless list of share, shared objectives. Um, and we, I think we, we need to be like thoughtful that they're, that they're reasonable for a business, not just like a, a, a group of people hanging out, but a business to, to tackle this, the, them on, on top of our mission. So, so if someone wants to take up that, I can help them because I know a little bit about like kind of what's reasonable of a shared objective. Um, I can help that person. So like, and I, the way I'm foreseeing it is either we do it via the next call and we people talk about them. We like type it on, I go type it on like real time or yeah. we do it through a Google form or something like that. But whoever, if someone wants to take that task up and try to figure that out, that's something I was going to do. So that would be amazing if someone else did that. Mm -hmm. um, also, Vivek, uh, 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 I need to going to present them your award. So uh, Uli is right that it, it would be helpful, like, instead of like discussing everything in a meeting, at least putting it out there, uh, to writing it there. And then someone that can volunteer, it can be me, like summarizing the objectives, maybe some are overlapping, or uh, maybe some are referring to, to the same thing. And then that person can, um, summarize it in the meeting and then we can either like add new objectives objectives or um, say we don't agree with some but have some kind of background that we are not going to okay I'm just gonna present this uh, from the beginning because we already read it let's say we use a mirror board so uh, someone want to take that Russell you want to, you give a thumbs up you want to I was just saying that I agreed <laughs> with Erica I yeah. liked her approach. Okay, thank you. You, you. You've been taking a bunch of things on. I don't know. Maybe someone else wants to take it. Take a take a, take a crack at it. <laughs> I'm not gonna do the icebreaker next week. <laughs> yeah, I'll um, <laughs> I'll try to take a swing at it. I think maybe I'll try to use Trello, and that will. I, I, maybe maybe each one of us will just have a card on a Trello board and we'll just keep, try to keep it a simple board, a very simple board that we can add to. And you, we can have more than one card and you can just like maybe hit thumbs up on a card you like or if, if it has that, would that work for everybody? Well, you know what, Russell, you and me can talk about it. Mm -hmm. 
I think that uh, what you just said sounded pretty good. Why don't you and me chat this week, like okay. tomorrow, or, or to, uh, we can talk about it and we can figure out the, the mechanism. But I, I think that's reasonable. I'm happy to help. I, I would love to, yeah, I'd love to help. And, and it, I would like, yeah, it'd be great if you could take the lead on that. All right. Cool. I'll give it a shot. Sweet. Amazing. <laughs> Uh, and then on the on the mission, does someone want to take a take a stab at um, you know giving a first shot at like writing a one or two liner um, mission? Me. No, hmm. you, you, you've been doing a lot of things, babe. There's <laughs> that's nothing to do for the, the next one. I'm not that's good fine. at making business model canvas. I don't think so. <laughs> uh, why don't we we'll see if anyone else, Jennifer, Adam. Either of you would like to step up on, on taking a crack at? Yeah, I could do that. Yeah. Um, have, or if anyone else wants to uh, do that as well, um, it could be like um, go back and forth during the week and then present something we come up with by the end of the week. Yeah, and, I'll, and I'm sure me and Vivek will, when we're getting our objectives squared away after interviewing everybody, we'll try to get, um, we'll try to get that data to you so you can if, if, if any of that, because, you know, the shared objectives, they're going to help you uh, figure out that sentence that or that couple sentences that really gets the core essence of it. Right. So I think as we gave you that data, it might it might actually shift shift you. So yeah, I would think so. interesting to see how that works. Yeah, then maybe that's a point. Maybe maybe we should hold off. That's a good point. Should we hold no. off, guys? No, I don't think so. I think we okay. go forward. And then if Adam, when, as Adam gets more data, he, he can, he can shift, right. he can try to shift it. He's trying to work his poetic nature. It's po it's poetry. It really is. Yeah. Mm. yeah. <laughs> I like it. Alley. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> sounds good. Yeah. Sorry. But important that all of us, we really do it quick. We don't wait till next week to give you guys, you know, the objectives. Oh Share yes. I think so. Like, so we'll we have to do it within, I don't know, every next two days. Deliver it to Russell. Yeah, that's, I think so. What, Russell and I will get together tomorrow. Russell, you have some flexibility in your schedule tomorrow? Uh, I can try to fit some some in. I can do a lot of async as well. If you want to just sh sh send me chat messages on Slack, I can. Okay. I'll try to reply and, and yeah. get back to you. All right. Problem good. Uh, you, you guys will, pro like, after you guys talk, then you will let us know, like, you yeah. were supposed to do something. Yeah. Right, objective, objectives. Precisely. Okay. And then finally, we'll you guys, it's like a like a idea, like a couple day timeline to to get it, like to share your stuff. So um, hopefully, okay. people can agree on. It's like, is that cool from everybody? Like, if we give you guys like maybe two, three days. Like, if we ho ideally, hopefully, Russell and I will be. We'll talk tomorrow. We'll by end of day tomorrow. We'll figure out the mechanism for getting. Um, input from you on your shared objectives and if we gave you guys uh, say three days 72 hours that that sufficient time for folks to to share that or do you guys think you might need more time than that no that sounds good yeah that's good limit that sounds good jennifer is that what we're talking about say that again you're talking about the trello part well <laughs> We're talking about would you would you would you be able to get your um, objectives like if we started if you started thinking would you be able to get your objectives in the next couple of days? Sure. Yeah. Okay. Then that will work for us, and then the, those objectives will feed into the the report we're collecting, and then that report will help Adam and Erica and everyone else form a uh, agree on a mission statement that is concise and fits everything we need. So am I right that that's we're doing that on Trello? Or? Um, we probably if you want to start on Trello, if that works for you, that's great. Um, everyone's gonna have to get notes, so I was thinking to at the end I was gonna try to compile it there. But if if you have a better place that you'd like to to form your ideas, by all means, use it. Uh, Trello works for me. Yeah, I mean, what? Yeah. Because you know, later we will talk about Miro, and I think actually Miro could be very good for that if we decide to go on it. If not, okay. Just... Yep. And I know you guys were working on that, so yes, that's fine too. Um, wherever Jennifer wants to put her ideas, that's fine, and then we'll compile it into a into a place, and it might be it might be Miro. Yep. Yeah. Right. I mean, you can always we can always you can write it down on a notepad for the time being, and then 
and you can always yep. copy paste it. So let, let us like get back to you, and we'll 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 certainly provide direction as soon as we can. Yeah, and it would be Jennifer would need that. Adam's need, going to need to do it. Everyone's really going to need to to do it. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah, of course, of course, of course, everyone. Yeah. Yep. Cool. Uh, is that is that like feel comfortable in terms of like being able to get some work done and get some stuff? Well, there's the issue of the email that you ask help with. So, yeah, so we'd like to volunteer to uh, reach out to the big group of people that are SVP for the original event. Dun, 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 dun. Sorry, I'm not following. Uh, the email to the broader group. Like, remember, we're, we're going to just keep the broader group sort of warm. The 90, 90 like, email list. Yep. And um, so we need to send an email to them, just sort of keeping them warm, keeping them updated on progress. So, so is, the, is the question, like, coming up with ideas? No, no. Is, is, can someone help me with that? I can do it. Okay, cool. Eric has also been helping a lot, but I think it, we have a small group, so kind of like it's going to be some overlap right now. So, cool. Uh, okay, so I think that's good for for now. Um, unless anyone disagrees, does this seem reasonable? Russell, Adam. Yeah, let's do it, guys. Cool. Awesome. Uh, and I just wanted to, um, I want to set to ask something. Yeah. Um, what about the roles? Because you are talking about skills also. Mm -hmm. But like, do you have an like, idea of what kind of roles need to be? Not yet, mm -hmm. I think. Or something like yeah, that. Yeah, you also have to think of like what it kind is, of skills to like apply. Yes. We're going to do that later. I think it's, 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 not one of the, the, the things I've detailed right here, but it's probably going to fit into the next meeting or two meetings where we're going to like request, um, you know, from um, like people to um, just get more clarity on what, what roles people can do and what jobs they can do. And then that will help us reach out to the broader group that, that you guys talked about. You wanted to relaunch or whatever you want to call it, but uh, coming back to the broader group looking for particular skills. Um, in different um, different roles, but different roles. Cool. Um, and this is the next slide. It's like was one, two, two last slides, really quick. This next one is like something to think about. It's not right now, but I, I think I think about this a lot in general in my life, or in and I think it will play an important role. I mentioned it a little bit um, here for you know um, design a system uh, for the committees to accomplish their goals. And it's like, how do we design a system for success? Um, you know, keeping in mind, allowing us to move quickly, but thoughtfully. You know, speed, I often hear speed a lot, um, but we can be, be like moving quickly in the wrong direction, or we can move uh, maybe slightly slower, but in a thoughtful and the right direction. So, you know, thinking about creating a system for us to, to do that, to avoid uh, blind spots, um, uh, for us to overcome different challenges and hurdles, and being able to utilize technology so that we can uh, collaborate and work together uh, efficiently without a lot of noise and confusion. So th this is this is like a broader conversation. It's not for us to think about decide now, but I, I wanted to put this seed of thought into all of our minds um, for us to be thinking about is how do we work well together? Like how can we work well together? How can we sort of go out there and be autonomous and um, solve problems on our own and come back to the group and share and, and do that efficiently. We're, we're, we're like, it's early on in our journey where we, these things take time to progress, but long-term, if we can do that, we can av avoid having individual successes in like doing a business model canvas and individual success in, you know, some little marketing campaign and instead actually create a organization that is like continually built for success over and over and over. Um, and so we're creating a system, think being really thoughtful about a system that allows us to, to do that. Um, it's almost like, uh, it's almost like, um, uh, like, you know, creating the walls for, uh, for uh, a stream to go downhill. You know, it, it, you sort of block everything out and allows for water to sort of flow naturally as it will a course of success, towards success. So just something for us to think about, I, I wanted to mention. 
Uh, and then lastly, it's just like, I saw this on Instagram the other day. Um, it was uh, this post, as you can see, like this guy in India, for, I know this is actually a true story. This guy um, has been planting trees every day for the last 35 years and he created a forest larger than Central Park, which is pretty insane. And, um, and I just like, I think um, it speaks to the, the power of patience. Once again, like I think startups, businesses always think about speed, speed, speed. And I, I think oftentimes like the, we, and I, this is my own experience too, and I'm working for startups and starting my own businesses. We often like work fast, but like in the wrong direction. So, how, but like patience oftentimes is such a powerful tool. Like how can we work thoughtfully and smartly um, and if we are, if we are patient, we, there's really nothing that stops us. So, uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, that's it for me. And hopefully this has been helpful. Any questions? Anything else before I stop sharing my screen? Okay. Right. Thank you, Vivek. Okay. So our next item will be uh, Ulan, I will talk a little bit about membership. So, Vivek, if you, oh yeah, I can share my screen now, good. Okay, so I'm just quickly gonna share my screen. And um, last week, uh, my action item was to like do some research on like how to become a member basically, because there was like this question like, yeah, we need to be members in order to, to have a vote. And well, after doing some research and talking to Vivek, and uh, uh, he already talked about it too in his presentation, we saw that we are, um, I'm gonna share, okay, oh. Uh, so if you can, Vivek, you can click like when it says share your screen, there's like an oh. arrow on the right so you can, so everybody can share it without switching ho hosts. Yeah, hold on. Like advanced options. One second. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. So yeah, and I just want to share this um, quickly with you. So yeah, this is where we are now. We are uh, in the organizational development stage. And this is what we need. You need to form an organizing or steering committee with people who represent the cooperative's potential members. Identify your mission and core values, which is what we talk, We just talked about. Well, that this is what we are. We are the steering committee and potential members. And I just wanted to clarify this because I'm gonna talk a little bit and I'm gonna use this, this term uh, when, I, when I show you um, what was uh, the research the re that Ula and I um, work on. Okay. So when, when I was, um, uh, yeah, trying to do some research, there was a lot of information on like, uh, membership, like specifically, uh, some examples of membership agreements, uh, rights and obligations of members of our co-op. And there wasn't really much on like, on where we are now, the steering committee, like no, not much information. So uh, this, uh, let me just share this with you. Sorry, okay. Are you looking at a uh, presentation right now? Yep. Okay, oh, sorry, okay. No, not this. Oh, okay. Sorry, get, click the wrong button, wrong button. okay. Here, okay. So these are the three questions that I, I had to answer. So what is the process to become a member of the co-op? Then there was the issue of some members, uh, some members will have invested more hours of, of labor than others once the co-op becomes profitable. So how, what do we do with this? And then how do we make important decisions if we are not official members of the co-op? So these were hard questions to answer. And when I was doing some research to answer these questions, I came across an article that really helped me. And I'm not gonna talk about the article. I'm just like, it, it's about narrowing our, our focus. And here is a link. I, I will share this with you in case you're interested in reading it. And it just says that when you have like a big, it, 
in the article they call it problems, but I will, I like to call them questions or issues. When you have like a big issue or question, um, try to turn to to make it into a small question that you can answer now, and that you can find answers for now. So. Um, so yeah, with a narrow focus, it's easier to gain an insight that you can apply to the big problem. So I asked Ula for her help and then uh, together we kind of like changed these big questions into smaller questions. And we came, we came with some answers. Some are like things that we did research on and some are things that we thought uh, would be a right answer. So we're gonna share this with you and then we'll, we wanna hear your, your input of course. And, on these questions and answers. So Ula, you can start with like the big, the, the first big question and then you can just read it. Thank you. Okay, so the main question for us would be, what is the process to become a member of the co-op? So we narrowed it to a smaller question, not calling it a problem. Uh, what initial commitments are required during the steering committee stage? And, uh, like according to some research and what we think uh, it can be attend and actively participate in 75% of the meetings, uh, follow up on action items, do research on co-ops and the business market uh, or vision and share their research with the team, work on finding solution to the problems that might be presented during the startup process and the last one, participate in consensus. So um, that's like, as Erica said, that there was not that much information since we are just on the stage of steering committee, but we still have to have some kind of rules. Who is allowed, who, I mean, who is actually a member of the steering com uh, committee. Uh, so now, like it's, uh, what do you guys think about it? Because like, while we are all, we were talking about this and uh, brainstorming, my question, like it, this question popped for me. What if someone cannot attend the meeting, but is committed and actively dedicates their time and follows up on action items and consensus on other platforms? Uh, would we accept that person as uh, a member, you know, active uh, member of the committee? Uh, because mm, on the opposite side, we could have someone who is uh, present on each of the meetings, like on every meeting, but is not really active. So why to kind of, uh, you know, uh, not allow the person who, let's say maybe someone is in different time zone, this is very theoretical, but it's good to be prepared. So theoretically, sure. imagine we have someone yeah, in different time zone or like Annie is going to move. And she can't be because it's middle of the night uh, for her to be on the meetings. Uh, what, what do we do with this kind of uh, member? Are you looking for people to talk now or? Yes, now is the time to talk. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Um, it'd be kind of cool. I like, I like these. I like these bullets, but I could see how it could be gamed or I could see how it would not be fair. So it almost feels like if they, if they meet like three of them or if they meet four of them, maybe that's enough. Right. Like if they're participating in consensus, so that means they're voting and they're actually having a say, that's important. Mm -hmm. um if they're finding solutions that's great like if they can if they can just tell us what to do and we can go do it like okay <laughs> i want that person on the team um yeah so these are all great like if, if they can bring like three of these i'd be happy okay. um so that's my that's my bit i'll let other people talk great thank you Rob. Vivek, you, you want to say something um, actually, I'll hold back for one second. I think I have to talk too early, so I want someone else to speak up. Sorry. <laughs> um, I think so. I think it's like, yeah, maybe create, I don't know, this was your first brainstorm, but uh, yeah, create a list. 
Yeah, that's basically what it was, a brainstorm of what we thought would be important because we as a steering co committee are potential members, right? And and we are, we are like, basically everybody here is doing all of this, but there's, we are, we're thinking about like inviting uh, more people that still, still early and, and, and we might wanna tell them, okay, this is what we require of you, you know? To be points, starting maybe. with, yeah. Make a game out of it. <laughs> yeah. And then you get in the weekly, like a weekly report, mm -hmm. you have like seven points and you get one point for doing this, two points. Some things are more important than, than others. Mm -hmm. So you accumulate a number of points. For yeah, and, and like, like also say, Maybe we cannot every week all all of us do all five, right? But uh, but maybe that's what we say. Like seventy five percent of the time, we're there. Like we all have like different different things to do. Uh, but a consistency, I would say, it would be important to me. And then like the, it kind of gets ambiguous. Like is attending a meeting, watching it digitally later, like. That person that's on another time zone or is just not able to meet a lot of a lot of the time, right? Mm -hmm. like right. Watching the video back, if if we're if we're if we're going to be honest and keep recording like we are, then that seems like it would be good enough for them to just listen or at least fast forward through it. And... <laughs> but maybe they they for instance like they would have to write their objectives, mm -hmm. right? And then they like they just watch the video, but they write their objectives and maybe they they write an email you know what i volunteered to to do this like or um that that's like so that can potentially happen it hasn't happened yet but maybe we should like uh yep. prepare in case it, it happens right yeah because i i have to be honest like if i i'd like to do less meetings and more like more strategic things later on so that would be like a goal of mine is to shift more towards the different different bullets but um you know, but right now I, I realize that meetings are going to be are so vital because we have to figure out what we're doing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that could be something that can happen when you when we break into committees. We just like mm -hmm. um, we 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 meet every two weeks, or like we will have mm -hmm. to decide on that. Yep. Okay, so anyone else would like to uh, say something about or has like an additional commitment that we didn't think of or some or maybe one commitment doesn't re resonate with you um i might just comment uh can you hear me yes oh wow okay no i'm used to seeing the the little green outline of the box go to me but i guess it doesn't hmm. anyway um yeah. so as this thing evolves um um say uh three years from now and the thing is running right and you were accounting for everyone's time um, from the guy stocking the shelves. He works eight hours a day. We account for that. And then whoever's managing, we account for their time, they're doing this and that, whatever it is, um, evolving to that point, um, what do we do now? You know, so like between uh, in the next six months, are we accounting for um, uh, our time and sharing that with the group? Like when we go off into committees, um, since we're not going to see what each other is working on as much, like, um, you know, uh, at, at what point are we going to like get a little more strict about like um, sharing that kind of information? Yeah, that was like the hardest question to answer. And it's actually like the next one and the next slide. And we, I would say like, once we are ready to like, to, to start with like official membership, then we can talk about that part of like being members. But in the meantime, what I found, which was like the big issue, right? Some members will have uh, invested more hours of labor and others once the co-op becomes profitable, right? Is this what you're talking about? Right, so I, I assume this is talking about like, um, are we valuing our time now or mm -hmm. is that only gonna start um, later on in the process? Well, I would, like to, I would like to say, yes, we are valuing our time now. Oh, okay. And the small question, 
that I thought it was easy to answer is how would the Syrian community can, can I great can I go back to the other to the previous slide so yeah is that, is that possible because I, I didn't feel like I this was like resolved yet in my book so okay. so like I, I hear what the points are saying I, I um I just like can't I don't know if I feel like this like it, it, it feels a little like there's a couple problems I, I'm concerned about a like who's tracking this like literally who's going to be tracking all this information like that right. or Russell didn't show up or whoever did like who's doing that we need to create that kind of mechanism so I think mm -hmm. I would like to like figure that out secondly I, I think I think this feels a little perhaps I could be wrong but this like having three or four of these and like what are the three or four or all these like maybe I'm wrong but that could be to like like more cumbersome track and than required I would I would like to urge you, the two of you or Erica or whoever to perhaps go back uh, and try to reach out to perhaps whether it be like Shelly or Tammy or perhaps directly or perhaps um and I've done this on multiple occasions and it's always been really well received, like reach out to some um, worker owned cooperatives like um, in the US and ask them how they, they do this how, or how they did this, you know, uh, like how do they keep track of like members and, you know, before there, before there's a financial commitment, uh, is there a way they do that is, or are they kind of like kind of loosey goosey and it's like, Okay, well, you know, people show up. I mean, the, the same people are sort of starting to show up anyway at this point and in, in, in participating. Like, okay, that maybe like that's all we need. Okay, like this group here is cool. Like anyone else that like joins beyond this, like we uh, vote them, we vote them in or something. We have to, like we have, yeah, they have to be like they can't really like they can't really decide, and it's like and you know, they vote it. Like and 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 that's kind of my point. I think that seems like a reasonable thing. Like you know everyone in this group plus brad in my mind like seems like a reasonable group um to to like have as a steering committee and why? and what would why why because we, we've attended every we've been attending almost every meeting uh I'm doing these things yeah yeah so we, we we've already attended so it's not like it's not to be tracked going forward it's just like okay they, they are they are that you know um Maybe we maybe we say that these commitments are required for um, at least at least four of these commitments are required for for voting in new member new members of the steering committee. Yeah, maybe um, maybe. Can be just personal guidelines. Okay, this is what I. Yeah. I cannot hear Annie very well. Annie, I'm here. No. Yes. <laughs> Even if, if even if they're not tracked, it can be like the guideline. Okay, just for everyone mm -hmm. to know, like, what do we have to do? Okay, try to attend as many as possible meetings, follow up on action items, and yeah, if we think that we cannot do some of those, just like set aside some time. So maybe yeah, maybe it doesn't have to be tracked and make a game out of it. How I like <laughs> with points, but it's I think it's good to have it. Yeah, I, I just think my point is guidelines is fine. I, I don't, I, I would probably just want to like urge you guys. I know you put a lot of work into this, but I, I'm, I would probably try to push you guys both more to like uh, reach out to some worker owned properties. I'm not even joking. I like called up like half a dozen worker owned cooperatives before I like organized that first call. Like I just went out to like websites and like they, I, I thought like CEOs and and like, you know, senior directors are pretty large, like worker on co And like, I picked their brain about random stuff and they picked up the call and they literally always spent time with me. I like, you just have to do it and you'll be surprised. Like, and you, they'll be helpful. Um, and I'm happy to like, um, provide input. And if you don't feel comfortable doing it, I can also like, maybe I can pick up a call phone or two and, and call some of these people and ask questions, but, or you can just shoot them an email, email that I found generally to be a little bit like uh, a little bit slower to respond. But phone, they actually, if they pick up the call, they, they're like, okay, they'll make time. Because that's actually literally part of the ethos of a worker on property to help other worker on properties. Yeah, it's, it's part of the principle. <laughs> so, yeah, like basically this is like like what we, like uh, Ali mentioned, this was like brainstorming. Yeah. And the next question, the answer is not definite at all, is what I found. But yeah, on like 
what's out there, not that I will go up and and ask them, but I'm I'm happy to do that. I think I think that because I, I just worry that maybe this is like reinventing the wheel. I could be wrong, like, but I, I get nervous that like this feels I I see some value in them. I'm not saying that they're like all these aren't valid, but I just worry that they might be really yeah, there was just not much information. Yeah, maybe it's not public. It's a, it's a stage, you know, just be, it's the stage before basically. Yeah. The the official stage. So sure. Well, but we can do, sure, we can do it and ask what did they do before and how did they count it. Um yeah, maybe we don't need to be that precise. It's also was there information on what like the rules of become like uh, well, the members, yeah, if you remember, you like yeah. you pay into it, but yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, there's a lot of that. Yeah, okay. Okay, yeah, and like basically the next one is just like what I saw, what I found there, but I, that's something that we'll have to agree on next, maybe when we're bringing the, the business model, maybe when we're sharing our objectives, it's like basically the way that I read that some companies been doing it is like they they, they pay according to the length of service, how long people's been working on this. Like if we've been there from meeting one, from the beginning as a steering up committee and then members like, then you get paid accordingly. Uh, so if you've been for the company, if you started, you joined the company in year number two and blah, 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 blah. And that's how you will be accountable because it's hard to like keep track of like exact, the exact hours of labor right now but but we we are but we are counting that we can count that we've been here from the beginning. Yep. Um, I I have a sort of non sequitur question, but like, does the seat does the steering committee dissolve once the membership start or once the board starts? <clears throat> okay, once the board starts, right? Okay. Because usually the steering committee becomes the board, in a, in a sense. Not always, but again, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you are potential members. And once we're members, we're not the steering committee anymore. Yeah, this one gets into like shares and stuff. Just to be clear, I mean, it, the reason why a steering committee may not become a board a, a board member is because you literally may not want to be. Yeah. You, know, like you might not want to be. I, 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 I'm not quite certain, like, I, I would want to be. I, I could see myself wanting to, you know, just be a worker or something like that, right? Like, there's a lot of responsibility that comes with being a board member. But maybe you do, and maybe we will. It, like, I think we will, we'll, we will get there when we do, but it's not, it's not clear. Yep. Gotcha. Sorry, you I mean, so I just want to ask Jennifer what she thinks because this is kind of answering her question yeah. that she had last week. Yeah. Uh, what do we do with the compensation for this time dedicated now? Yeah, the question about commitment, what, what kind of commitment is required uh, to be a member? Of, so I, I was thinking more in general about general membership of the worker co-op and I'm wondering if there can be a category for volunteer, or is there room? Or is everyone a worker, or is there is there a category for a volunteer? That's a great question. Well, I'd be curious, like, what, why, why you, are you thinking like all of us should be? Volunteer, or like, are you thinking like one of us or some of us would want to be just volunteers and not got compensated for this time? Is that is that why you're asking the question? Well, me in particular, I'm I'm in a situation where I I can volunteer, but I can't work for less than like thirty thousand dollars a year. Um, so I I but I can volunteer as much as I want, and um, so. So unless unless I can you know have some kind of full time job with benefits and thirty thousand dollars a year, I'd rather stick to just being a volunteer personally. But do but you already know it like right now at this stage when we all kind of like we are all building it or uh, let's say within like next three months where we already have the uh, 
a board of members, no. or I don't know, six months or whatever, that uh, you could decide or you need to decide now. Oh, you think I should decide now? No. We're saying that you, you might not necessarily, so like this, like if you wanted to continue to, to earn nothing, because like I'm not earning nothing in the steering committee right now for all intents and purposes, that's fine. I'm volunteering at this point, but at a certain point, it'd be nice if we could build in some sort of way to pay us back for the, our labor that we're giving for free at this time, right? And if, if that's the case, then how do we, how do we pay, pay us? And sometimes that's shares. Um, where, where there's a certain value attached to something that the person can sell to, to get like recoup what they've, what they've gotten, you know, and what they've put into it. Um, so you wouldn't necessarily be taking a wage until there was like an event that caused you to, to be able to get, you know, compensated, right? Like that could be like five years from now. I'll pause. Hey, I can, I just trying to be mindful of time. I'm going to, yeah. I, I can address some of these things. Just I hope, I hope you guys don't mind. Um, so, so, um, Jennifer, I, I think you can, um, like you can, you, we can decide that probably in, in next week or two, we can talk about that. I think you, there's probably a way for us to do you, if you really didn't want to get compensated, you, you, you could be a volunteer. Uh, I think in reality is, um, a salary of 30,000 or more is very realistic in my perspective. I, I haven't done the, the exact math on every single person. So I don't want to say without hundred percent certainty, or I, I, I don't want to say with hundred percent certainty, but I think it's, it's very reasonable. Um, and the way, the way this would likely work is uh, like, as Erica, I think is insinuating or sort of trying to clarify is um, we will generally keep track of our hours. Like, we can talk as a group that say like, we're just gonna broadly say that everyone who's you know, started from the first presentation onwards, uh, there's a little bit of an echo. I'm gonna mute you, Jennifer. Oh, okay. Um, everyone who's um, you know started from the first presentation onwards, uh, basically like, it, I'm just saying making up numbers here is like automatically qualifies for a hundred hours, okay? And then what it ends up happening is once a company is profitable, those people will, uh, those individuals that or were part of that group will uh, get paid out um, some a number that we decide as a steering committee um, over the course of, you know, weeks and months into, you know, so like we could, the, 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 the amount could be like, you know, $20, $20 an hour or $30 an hour, whatever the number is, $15 an hour, whatever the number is, we decide. Um, and they will be paid out over, um, you know, that period of time, over a period of time after we're profitable. Does that make sense? Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. And, 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 and um, yeah, I think the equity component, like, yeah, right, there's just like that. And this is actually to address this equity component because it really isn't an equity component in a, a worker-owned property. You, when you leave a worker-owned property, you don't own anything in that worker-owned property anymore. You're no longer a member. You don't, you're not. You don't get any. There's no like something you can sell. So, um, you. That's why actually compensating us right now is important because we, we um, or compensating us in the future for the work we do now is I think it's an important thing, um, and we can work through that as a as a a topic or agenda item we can talk about in the next couple of weeks and in probably something once again Erica or some other teammate. Who wants to do some research and help can help um, Erica and Ula like research and, and potentially call yeah. or reach out to worker or cooperatives and asking that agenda like that item like how did you do this like how did you pay back I've, I've heard different models done for different worker or cooperatives cool cool yeah mm -hmm. Erica you're on mute you, can you, I hear you? Uh, Sorry, I'm just gonna finish this quickly so we can uh, go on with the, the, the next item because we don't have much time left. And basically the, the next question Vivek already answered. So it's, uh, it was, how do we make important decisions if we are not official members of the co-op? 
And the small question is, how do we make progress during the steering committee stage? And these are like the steps that Vivek mentioned and that we've talked about um, today. So unless anyone else has something to add to this, I can pass it on to, to Ula and Annie so they present the mirror board that we're hopefully using this week. Cool, thank you. Okay, so I can stop sharing, right? Unless someone else has a question, I don't want to be the... Adam, you, any questions, concerns? No, I'm good. Okay, thank you, guys. I think, I think you should do it yours, yeah. Yes. <laughs> You guys are on mute, sounds like. <laughs> Makes sense. Do you wanna take yeah, she yeah, I'll sit you sit here. Yeah. You sit here and then I'll sit. Okay. Hi, if you want. Oh, okay, yes, yes, yes. Are we unmuted or not? <laughs> You're unmuted. All right. Uh, All right. So how we are going to do it, I, I created, I, I mean, I opened a, an account for under my name and uh, I created with Annie's help a um, few frames uh, to show you how we can kind of manage or our, like how we can organize everything in more visual way. Uh, yeah. Can you see the screen? Yes. So basically a mirror board is like a gigantic white board where you can add as many topics as you want. Um, so we're just like at the beginning here, we said, okay, let's make a little frame. So you, we frame something as a meeting uh, and we started with our meeting number five and then you design it the way you want. Uh, there's all these like sticky notes that you can put from, do you see my cursor? Yep. From this sidebar, you got your sticky notes here. You can write text, there's templates to choose. You can add connection like lines and so on. So we made this like template. Actually we used the template. So it was easy, it was not even like fully created by us. And then, and then you can add as like everyone is familiar with Trello. You can add a little card uh, here. I can just add another one. one, yeah. So it's called a card. If you, we'll show you later the whole like Kanban, which is like actually like Trello. So you can add uh, a card. So you click on it and then you can type something. What else do we need in a meeting? Icebreaker, no? Ice, uh, icebreaker. And then you can assign somebody. And these are the people that are in the mirror board already. Like so far it's just us, Erica and uh, Vivek, and you can add a link, you can add a date uh, today, and so on. So now you have your little card here, making it smaller. You can expand the card and you can have the exercise here. What, whatever, what, what do we do? Like, what is your favorite dish? It basically looks like a Trello. Mm -hmm. You just, you know, we would have it here. Uh, and then this we have the agenda. So you just go zoom in and zoom out. You can go from like the smallest to like really big. Um, you can also eventually you can follow the person's uh, cursor. So if it would be that somebody's the facilitator, you would just click on the person cursor and then you will see how they move around the board. Okay. So. I yeah. Okay, so that's that. Uh, you can add any any presentations. So we said we thought we have the presentations here that it's easy to access from the same place. Uh, so they can open directly on the screen. You don't have to change um, the tab, right? So if, if you present something, you can go directly here. Then if somebody wants to, for example, see one of the presentations before, it doesn't have to, you know, look, search, where is it? It would be just all the presentations Everything. would be here. 
yeah, everything in one place. So we have the presentations from today as well. And the, here on the uh, on the bottom right corner, you also have the map of mirror boards. So you can move a little bit, like you can just click on the map where you want to be. But as well, you can move with the arrows or with the mouse or the screen, zoom in, zoom in and out. So here is something that would, it's a Kanban, so it can be something as uh, Trello, right? We didn't make a lot of progress because we wanted to see if you guys want to use this before like adding, adding the items from Trello. But yeah, the same way as I, we said, uh, like website, like who's in charge, you can ass assign it. You can also add tags. And then later on, you can search here, oh, where were we talking about website? And then everything pops up with the website or like uh, search the tag that we use. So you get everything here easily. Uh, so I guess cool. this, this could be pretty, yeah, you're pretty familiar with this because of Trello. Then we add, added a few other things, like there's a, a million of templates like there's ideation and brainstorming so you don't have to create everything there's a lot of building blocks you can you, if you want you can do everything by but. yourself but there's also templates so for example we said here like maybe here we can be i don't know uh, for example actually for for um, what do we say what is our homework the objectives the objectives no? So objectives, uh, anyway, yeah, uh, yeah, and then you can like just add, you can and add another one, yeah, of course we can also like, like multiple like, people can add to at the same time, you can, time, we so. can also work at the same time, so for example, we take, five minutes in Zoom to say, okay, let's write down something. Let's write down our ob objectives. So you can do it live or you can do it as a homework. Even at home, yes, but still on the same one, yeah. it wouldn't be. I created this on the go while we were uh, on the meeting right now with like values. Let's see, hi. So for example, like maybe we can decide to like write on sticky notes here outside of the, of the circle, we can write our values, integrity or something. And then we try to place it. Where is it? Where is the most important? Is it the primary, tertiary? You can, yeah. Mm -hmm. So you can use this kind of things for brainstorming. I also created on the go. Uh, that's why I was asking also a little bit about the roles because I created a grid. A grid is super easy also to manage because you can just add um, add a column. You can add yeah this thing. You can resize the way you want it. And for example, here I just put everyone's name, so it would be a skills grid. So everyone's name and like marketing, for example, you take a sticky note from here and you just place and you say, mm, I'm expert in MailChimp or something. And that can be bigger. You can give it a different color. So it's very visual and yeah, you can get add emoji. I never do that, but it can be also emojis. Uh, yeah so if off. if everyone likes it or like if we want to use it yeah for example we can also have a feedback on the meeting like uh, add some couple of things here like what i wonder um for example i don't know our objectives very different and values and yeah, it would be also nice to get feedback on, on the meetings in this way. What I learned, things that I learned, what I know, or like wish, wish like learn, there's like different ways. And, and then, so yeah, no, go ahead. After, right, uh, whoever is active uh -huh. on it, like when you come back, it will show you who was active and where. You see the highlights yeah. like of the changes as well. I wanted to share with you here, if you go on frames, it organizes everything in frames the way we framed it on the, on the screen. 
so you can go directly um, yeah here are the frame and eventually you can also export all this save as pdf and you can have a pdf with all, all the information that is on the board and there's many more yeah this is just like a short intro but you can do a lot of things uh, especially like you can do you can brainstorm live now it's like okay let's take five minutes now and discuss this now especially now where we're moving on to less of like presentation more of co-creation mm -hmm. so it's a really good tool for co-creation and yeah it's unlimited it's oh it works with slack as well mm -hmm. so you can have notifications also from slack you can yeah include yeah. slack you can have notes here on the side <laughs> no <Note> test <laughs> We're trying it out, <laughs> trying to go eat, sleep, and repeat. <laughs> and then uh, you get notified of all those like notes and everything. Uh, what else? Yeah. I don't know. So, so, so is it maybe, maybe we should, um, should we like ask folks to. So uh, we, we can, we could invite everyone right to this everybody. board yes. and maybe we can have one action item yeah. happening there. So mm -hmm. in this way, like everyone can familiarize with it. And yep. see the, if you guys like it and then see do you want to use it or not. It's kind of similar like with Slack. But also I think it's a, mm, very important and we can like connect link it with Slack. So um, for example, I can, uh, if, if you go on my mirror board on my computer, yeah. you can also see like, I can follow you, like I can follow myself here and then I see where Vivek is going on the board and you can like zoom in, zoom out. Yeah, so, so it's nice to do it live. Yeah. 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 Cool. Then you can hide, yeah. So now Vivek is controlling your screen. Exactly. So while I was like following him, you just yeah. have to click on his icon, whoever is gonna be here. So yeah, so, but I, that doesn't mean that I don't have control. I can still, I can still do something but if he wants to present something and take a take me on a journey, he could. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, seems really, really helpful. I think we should give it a try. And maybe next meet we give it a try as an action item and next meeting present something here also. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is that, is that cool with everybody? Is like an action item that will- So another thing that, yeah, for example, yeah, action, I wrote here action items. So this can be in our meeting. So here we can list or also from the minutes that I took, like we can just list, as we said, um, with uh, just the uh, cards. So what was it we had? We had some action items there. Oh. I, can, I can do that since I was facilitator. Um, before we, we finish, I can review the action items that we agreed on and then I can I can try to add, I, I can add them to to Mira will like um, so we don't have to do it uh, right now exactly just like yeah to show then like, the same way you can attach like two people to it so Erica and okay but just Ula. Be, yeah just so, be, so is everyone is everyone cool with taking up this as an action item and play around with Miro? Let's yeah uh, I can at least log into it so that's what I'll try to do <laughs> okay perfect. <laughs> So we'll invite yeah. everyone. Yeah, I'm okay with it too. Yeah, I'm okay with it. Okay. Yeah, um, any tool that will foster collaboration outside of meetings, I'm definitely down for. Yeah, yeah just like everyone can spend like maybe like five, 10 minutes, because that way we get a feel of like people want to use it or not. You yeah, know? yeah. So we're, we, we have a lot of tools, so we don't want to yeah. just. Um, maybe, then, as you said, it's like it's good to find the tool that works yeah. better for the future. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, not to say that this, you know, yeah, just I think it'd be helpful for all of us to get get some feedback so the next mm -hmm. call we know if we're gonna we should move forward with it or not. Yeah. Maybe five ten minutes is little too little. You have to like to discover something. You have to kind of you know I don't know. We will send an email or maybe when you write an email, email, we will send also a link with like a one of the like a short tutorial which will yeah. really help. I think if you if you. Mm -hmm just come up with a like an action item that is compelling for people to try that might be cool too like click yeah. this box yes yeah. or no here yeah exactly yeah. 
Yeah, we well, can, uh, yeah. whenever you guys uh, uh, are asking for objectives for these like personal objectives, yeah. that, that can be yeah, one maybe, action maybe, item. Maybe that's what we try. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, that's all. yeah, and then everyone can write their own objectives and you can it can be also like a, a scale like very important very important feasible and then you can place it where 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 the objective is personally for you for example yeah, yeah. we'll we'll, we'll co-create something together here yeah. the tri trio okay sounds good uh okay. it just be mindful of time so we're okay. like at the mark could, could maybe we get everyone to hang tight for what, five minutes maybe very cool or yeah, that's okay with me. Um, thank you, thank you, um, Aninula, for creating this. Um, should we review all the action items and assign? Let's make cool with Jennifer and Russell and Adam, just like maybe five, five, seven minutes. Yeah, yeah I'm, so I'm good for. Yep. Cool. Sorry. Okay. Jennifer, good. Yeah, yeah I, I talked over her. Yeah. Oh, I did it again. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Erica? Okay. okay. So um, action items. We have um, Russell and Vivek are going to talk about uh, organize, send, send, like get together tomorrow so they can give us some homework um, yeah. to do on our share objectives. Adam is going to start uh, thinking of our mission and maybe writing a sentence or two. Um, everybody, we should think of our objectives and follow up on the homework that uh, Vivek and Rosal assign, assign us. Um, I, I'm going to help uh, to email the larger group. And also Ula and I reach out to worker co-ops to see how they are um, compensating the, the members that start having there from the beginning. Uh, is there anything else? Uh, I just should be like mindful of like, you know, feeling like everyone's grabbing some work, um, taking up something. Um, Jennifer, do you want to grab like something? Um, whether it be helping Erica and Ula or. Uh, sure, uh, whatever, I, however I can be helpful, I'll try to be helpful. I think that could be helpful because if, since we have to kind of like reach out uh, via phone call, maybe we can spread it between three of us and reach yeah. out, reaching out to different existing. Uh, maybe the three of you guys can coordinate how to do it. And yes. Okay. Um, how, so the best way to to reach you is just to email you or to call. You need you. a Slack, right? Oh, yeah, Slack. 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 yeah, we can coordinate on Slack, and then we decide. Look, I'm gonna reach out to this co-op and mm -hmm. and. So on. All right, that sounds good. Okay. So I'll add, it. So I'll add Jennifer to that one. Okay. And finally, Ula wanted to was, um, assignate roles for our next uh, meeting. So we need, um, we need, it would be good to know who, who volunteers to be facilitator, someone that hasn't done it, um, minute taker. And the icebreaker because we we decided last week we, we, that we don't need a timekeeper. <laughs> okay. Um, so, should we decide now or should we write it? Yeah. Okay. Cool. I can do the uh, icebreaker. Okay, Adam, icebreaker. Mm -hmm. I can do the minutes. The vague minute and. Who's going to be our facilitator next week? <laughs> oh, yeah, Annie, no? yes, yes. Okay, I have one, Annie more, has one more week on this time zone. Oh, so. Okay, cool. Um, <laughs> so, Annie, awesome. Where are you moving to? Portugal. Whoa, that's great. <laughs> yeah. wow. I, I mean, I've been there since May last year already till. December, so I spent like half of the year there, and I'm all, I'm starting a project there. So, but now it's more yeah, it's official. I'm moving my stuff and everything. <laughs> what, what part of the country? Um, Alentejo, like south of Lisbon, in the rural area. Nice, it's mm -hmm. awesome. 
yeah come visit guys <laughs> okay um, so finally i would like to ask um go around and ask each one of us how do you think this meeting uh went so let's start with um Russell. i'm happy okay and then you can pass it on to someone oh. mm -hmm. jennifer not too bad Does anyone want to elaborate on these? Yeah. <laughs> I have the ice you start, <laughs> I yeah. I'll I'll just be like, okay, sure, I'll I'll go a little deeper. Um I think this meeting was productive just like the past meetings we've had, and I think it's it's fun to 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 uh figure out how to build this with y'all. So I'm I'm glad for the time we've had together so far. Jennifer, would you mind elaborating? Oh, I, I would say it feels like we're learning as we're going along. So it feels, um, I'm, I'm optimistic about uh, the possibilities, the potential. We should go next, Jennifer. Oh, who, who do I go? Um, uh, Ula. Yeah, I think it went swift. <laughs> it was good, it went swift, and uh, it's nice that everybody is such a good listener. Looks like, um, yeah. I have uh, someone uh, who's next, um, Erika. <laughs> Me? Yes, sure. Okay, yeah. Um, yeah, I was happy too. It was good to see all the, the big, um, yeah, like the, the view, of, like the steps, where we're going, and having more clarity and, and what to do next, and specifically how to make uh, progress, even though we are not official members, because that was a big question in my mind. And next, um, Adam. Uh, went good. Um, Vivek, I liked your presentation today. Um, it uh, is nice how it um, kind of set the future a little bit. Um, but yeah, all positive. Um, and I would like to see, I look forward to when we do collaborate more outside of meetings, because um, I feel like that's when we're going to get more stuff done and accomplished. Um, um, but, um, yeah, at, at this stage, this, this all makes sense to me. Oh, um, uh, who, Vic, how'd you think meeting went? I'll take Ani, I'll take Ani. Um, yeah, so I think the meeting I, I felt went, uh, good. Uh, I, I was, I feel like it could have been great, but it, there I feel like I took a little longer than I wanted. I, I know that I feel I know. I, I, I mean, I've found the time schedule where like I, I push it too long. So I need to work on being a little more brief. Um, uh, but um, I'm glad that I was able to present the, the steps and uh, what were, seemed to be generally in agreement. So I'm happy about that. Um, I'd love to, uh, you know, you know, just work on some small like things. Um, you know, just working on folks being on time we, we, we need to just make sure the meetings are timely and thoughtful so um and um uh, i really loved the, the the interest and excitement people are taking up of wanting to take tasks so overall i feel like uh you know uh, it was good and uh, we continue to to improve when we're working in the right direction i think folks are uh really enthusiastic so i'm really happy Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, really, I mean, really nice. I think I'm learning every time and I guess this is the phase for learning um, because we kind of know the direction and yeah, it's nice to have a clear like clarity on the steps and not to feel like we are behind or like where are we going or like why does it take us so you know why this process is so long well because it is 
uh, it's not easy to, to jump from, it's much different if you just start something with like your two friends that you see each other all the time and it's something down the block and you know, it, this is a bigger vision and I think, yeah, thank you uh, Vivek for reminding us about patience. That's a very mm -hmm. issue that applies to, to this kind of uh, um, adventures, adventures, cooperative, uh, on, on a, a worker on the cooperative. So yeah, it was good. Um, I'll be here with you next week and after that it will be hard to catch up, but maybe we decide to have a different time for the meeting. Mm -hmm. And I also have to see what are my commitments, my personal yeah. commitments to it. Also to the I'm passing it to Ula for for the final. Uh, uh, do you do we want to do it? The very like to, it's a, it's to, a little. It's a little. Yeah, I don't. I think we we should be thoughtful about all people's yeah, times right. leaving also as we're entering and also leaving. So, yeah. so. Yeah. I keep this idea for the next time when mm -hmm. my turns come. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Yeah. Uh, Thanks, everyone. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 B